You're going to learn how to build this RSVP tracker in Excel. With this tracker, you can set the event start date, see how many days are left until the event, easily add new contacts by typing below the table, store everything from the contact's email all the way to their address, easily mark their RSVP status along with the number of guests included for each person, and the best part is that the chart on top updates automatically whenever you adjust the guest count and RSVP status for any person in your list. All right, the link to this spreadsheet is in the description if you don't want to spend the time to build it, and if you're ready to get started, then let's begin with a blank Excel workbook. The first thing that you want to do is increase the row height for all of the cells. So click here to select all of the cells, then right click on the row headers, row height, change the height to 25, and click OK. Then with every cell still selected, click on the down arrow next to the fill color button and select more colors. Select custom and enter the hex code F1F3F4 and then click OK. After that, change the horizontal alignment to left and the vertical alignment to middle. And now, even though you can't see the grid lines, it's still a good idea to hide them. So go to View, Uncheck Grid Lines. Next, select row 1, right click, and change the row height to 35. While you're at it, go to Home and add a blue fill color to this row. Then change the font size to 18, bold the font, and change the font color to white. Next, select row 5, right click, and change the row height to 100. Then change the font size to 28, bold the font, and then change the font color to blue. Awesome, now let's adjust the column widths. Click here to select every cell, and then right click on the column headers, and change the column width to 20. Next, change the width of column A to 5, change the width of column D to 30, and change the width of columns H through K to 10. Awesome, that does it for the worksheet structure, so go ahead and make a copy of this worksheet by right clicking on the worksheet tab, select move or copy, check create a copy, and click OK. Then rename the copy to contacts, and rename the other worksheet to status. Back on the contacts worksheet, select cell B1 and type in contact list. Then select cell B3 and type in event date and select C3 to type in a sample date just for now. Next, select B5 and C5 and merge these cells into one. Then in the merged cell, enter the following formula equals C3 minus today function ampersand quote space days space left quote and enter. This formula calculates the number of days remaining leading up to the event based on the event date that you input into cell C3. The formula then adds the text days left to the end of the calculated number. Now let's add some formatting to make these cells look nice. So select B3 through C3, change the horizontal alignment to center, bold the font, then click the down arrow next to the borders button and select more borders. For the border color, select this gray color right here, 
and then click the outline and inside buttons to apply the border around the cells and click OK. Then select cell B3 and add a light gray fill color. Then select cell C3 and remove the fill color. You can then customize the look of the date by clicking here and select more number formats. Select date and choose a date format that works for you. Once you do that, click on OK. Next, go ahead and select the merged cell, remove the fill color, and then click the down arrow here and select more borders. Select this gray color here, click the outline button, and click OK. Awesome. Next, we're going to create the contact table below. So start by selecting cell B7 and enter first name. Then press tab and enter last name, and then email, phone, street, city, state, zip, RSVP, and finally, NO period. Then go ahead and enter a few rows of sample data like so. At this point, you're going to create an Excel table that will make it very easy to add new contacts to the list. So begin by selecting the headers and your sample data, and go to Insert, Table. Make sure that this box is checked and click OK. Then under the Table Design tab in the ribbon, give your table a name like Contacts. Next, you want to remove the fill color from the table. So select the entire table and then go to Home, Fill, No Fill. Great. Now we're going to create a custom style for this table, that way it will be easier to read. So select a cell on the table, and then click on Table Design, click on the down arrow here, and select New Table Style. Give your new style a name, and then select the whole table element and click Format. Under the border tab, select this light gray for the color, then click the inside and outside buttons, and click OK. Now select the header row element, and click on Format. Under the border tab, select the color blue, then select the slightly thicker border style, and then apply the border on the bottom. Then move to the Font tab, and bold the font. Then move to the Fill tab and select this light gray color and click OK. Finally, check this box to make this the default table style for the document and then click OK. Now you can apply the new table style by clicking here and select your new table style. Fantastic! At this point, move on over to the status sheet. Here on this worksheet, you're going to create a table to calculate the RSVP numbers to power the chart that you will make here in a little bit. So begin by deleting row 5, then select cell B1 and enter in Status List. Then in cell B3, type in RSVP, and in cell C3, type in Sum. Then below, enter yes, no, and maybe. Finally, select B3 through C6 and go to Insert, Table. Make sure this box is checked and click OK. Then give this table a name like Status. From here, select the entire table and remove the fill color. Wonderful! You are now going to create a range name that will help you create a drop-down list on the other worksheet. So select the RSVP column of the table 
And then in the name box above, type in a name like status list and press enter. You then want to move back to the contacts worksheet. Select the RSVP column of the table and go to data, data validation. Under allow, select list, and for the source, enter equals status list, which is the range name that you just created earlier. And then of course, click on OK. You now have a dropdown for the RSVP status column. At this point, go ahead and move back to the status worksheet. Now you want to write a formula that will count the number of guests for each RSVP status. So, starting in cell C4, enter the following formula. Equals sum if function contacts, which is the name of the table on the other worksheet, and then open bracket, RSVP, close bracket, and then next argument, and select the RSVP status in cell B4. Then move to the next argument, contacts, which again is the table name, open bracket, in O period, close bracket, close parentheses, and press enter. The formula is then copied down for each cell in the column, and this formula sums the number of guests for each indicated RSVP status. And now select the entire table and go to insert, column chart, 2D column. Then go ahead and cut the chart, move to the contacts worksheet, and paste. You can then resize the chart to fit in the space above the table. From here, double click on the chart title and change it to RSVP count. Also, increase the font size of the title to 16. Then select the grid lines and press delete. Then select the white axis labels and delete. Click the plus and check data labels. Then select the data labels and increase the font size to 14. Now select the X axis labels, increase the font size to 14, then right click and format axis. In the panel on the right, click on the paint bucket icon and under line, select no line. Then select the data bars and in the panel on the right, under border, select solid line. Change the line color to light gray and increase the width to one. Then click on the data bars icon here, change the series overlap to zero and the gap width to 100. Okay, now you're going to give each bar its own color. So click on the yes bar and make sure that this is the only bar selected. Then click on the paint bucket icon and under fill, select solid fill. Then for the color, select more colors and for the hex code, enter in CCFF. DC. Next, click on the no bar, select solid fill, and for the color, select more colors, and for the hex code, enter FFCCCC. Then click on the maybe bar, select solid fill, and for the color, select more colors, and for the hex code, enter FFFFCC. And that completes the chart, so you can now close the panel on the right. For the finishing touch, we're going to add in conditional formatting for the RSVP status column. So select the RSVP status column, and then go to Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Select only cells that contain and then change this to equal to. Then click the button here, click the status tab, select cell B4, 
and press Enter. Now click on Format, and under the Fill tab, select More Colors. Then, under Custom, enter the hex code E6FFEE. -E. Then click OK, OK, and OK. Next, go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule, select Only Cells That Contain, and then change this to equal to, then click the button here, click on the Status tab, select cell B5, and press Enter, then click on Format, and under the Fill tab, select More Colors, then under Custom, enter the hex code FFE6E6, then click OK, OK, and OK. Then one more time, go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule, select Only Cells That Contain, and then change this to Equal To, then click the button here, click on the Status tab, select cell B6, and press Enter. Now click on Format, and under the Fill tab, select More Colors, then under Custom, enter the hex code FF. F, F, E6, then click OK, OK, and OK. And with that, you are officially done with your RSVP tracker in Excel. You can add more contacts by typing right below the table, and the chart above will update automatically as you update their RSVP status. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you learned something new. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again in the next Spreadsheet Life video.